Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Techno Minute. Today we will be addressing the question, are iPods dead? And if so, why? Now the first version of the iPod was released on October 23rd, 2001. This was about eight and a half months after the first version of iTunes was released for the Mac. Within two months of its release, the iPod had already sold over 125,000 units. And it soon became known that Apple supplied the most popular MP3 player that money could buy. So if they were so successful, why don't we hear about iPods anymore? Well, the answer is simple. Unfortunately, the world of smartphones has taken over. Even though iPods don't rule the world anymore, I'd still like to take a look at them and see why they were so successful. With me I have the 6th generation iPod Nano, the iPod Mini, the 2nd generation iPod Touch, and an iPhone 6 for reference. Now the iPod Mini was released on January 6, 2004, and it originally came in two variants, a 4GB option and a 6GB option. Exactly one year later, Apple introduced a sequel to the iPod Mini, the iPod Mini 2. While these were in production, they were some of the most popular electronic products on the market, and consumers often found it quite difficult to find them even in stock. In 2008, Apple released the iPod Touch 2nd generation, which also came in two separate variants, an 8GB version and a 16GB version. The iPod Touch was massively successful and soon became the number one selling portable MP3 player. It could web browse, play games, text, and even more. And at this point in time, we were just getting used to the iPhone, so the iPod had little competition. Now looking at a side-by-side -side comparison between the iPod Touch and the iPhone 6, we can clearly see that they are relatively the same size. Nothing really has changed besides the headphone jack location and the lightning port. In the end, it's interesting to look at the success of the iPod and where it dropped off. I would venture to say that after the release of the iPhone 3GS, people started to slowly lose interest, and for good reason. The iPhone did everything the iPod Touch did, and more. Mainly, it could call people. The reason iPods continued to stay alive as long as they did was because of the younger generation. Parents often bought their kids iPods as substitutes considering they didn't have to pay for an extra phone line. Well, that seems to be it for this video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Comment down below. And until next time, peace.